yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of a name for my subscribers and I thought that was a really cute one. Comment if you don't like it or comment if you do like it. I have other options, but I was just thinking Brianna and D, so Brie D Birds. I don't know. It was my nickname as a child, Brady. So <laughs> anyway, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Brianna and you should totally subscribe if you find your place here. So today I thought it'd be fun to answer questions about being on my dance team, which is the UB Dazzlers at Buff University at Buffalo. I was on the UB Dazzlers as a freshman and this weekend I'm trying out as my sophomore year and we're doing we're setting a video audition so I thought it'd also be a really fun idea to while I'm answering the questions do my makeup for my video audition because you have to be game day ready so I did a slightly different look than my original get ready with me UB Dazzlers so I did gold instead of like a red look so I hope you guys enjoy my video we're just gonna get right into the questions so I have all the questions on my phone here and I'm just gonna read them so the first question is what is my favorite thing about being on the dance team Okay, so I have a few answers for this. The first one is, I usually have something to look forward to. Like, I feel like in college, it's always about school and work. And I like having something other than school and work to be excited about. Like, it's like, instead of being excited about a homework assignment, I get to be excited about a game I get to go to. So it's very exciting and fun. <laughs> the second thing was, it was a nice way to make friends. I feel like going into college i wasn't too scared about making friends because of the dance team and they're super nice and always there for you i also found that it was a great way to stay active because i mean like if i wasn't on the dance team i probably would not be exercising as much as i did because not only are you doing practice but then i practice outside of practice <laughs> i exercise even when i'm not practicing I'm traveling one of my favorite things about being on a competitive dance team and dancing was getting to travel um, I love traveling, I love packing to travel, I love getting excited about it, I love staying in hotels, I love all that stuff, and the fact that I still got to do that a little bit, it wasn't as much, but I still got to do it like a few uh, twice, I think, a few times, um, it was really fun, like I really enjoyed it, I was really happy that I got to travel, and it's super fun. Okay, the second question is, what is my least favorite thing about being on the dance team, and I don't really have many least favorites, but one thing that is a little bit weird to me and that I have to like pay attention to all the time is that we can't be like, I'd say angry at games. I don't know, I'm, I'm a very passionate game watcher. I, like in high school, I would go to games and like get very passionate. We can't do that. We're, we have to stand, we're on the sidelines the entire game and it's like smile, cheer, and I just, I'm so used to being like, come on, and I can't do that anymore. I just, it's, it's, it's fine, but you know, and then also the fact that there's always um, cameras a lot of times. You don't know if they're gonna be on you. They could be on you for a split second and that split second is like, you were like picking your teeth. Like you can't do that. <laughs> so having to be aware is definitely a thing that's hard for me. I wouldn't say I dislike it, but it is one of the like downsides of like doing that is I always have to be aware of what I'm doing because I'm not really the most aware person. I do a lot of weird things, so. The next question is, how long does it typically take me to get ready for a game day? So, um, depending, on, I have actually a funny story, but usually it takes me roughly about an hour and a half, and that's like eating and everything like that. But um, it also takes me a little bit of overnight preparation because I have to um, do my hair. Like if I don't break my hair overnight, it's kind of it's kind of a hard situation because, um, I mean, my hair is naturally curly but it doesn't sit down as nicely if i don't braid it, do it right out so yeah um but it usually takes me about an hour like depending on what happens there's this one time where i took a nap my alarm didn't wake me up it was like 15 minutes before i i had to leave and i put makeup on that quickly like i could get it done in 30 but if i want to take time and make it look pretty and make sure it looks okay i will usually take about an hour and then i usually i also like to eat before games because that's gonna be like we were there an hour early maybe like three four hours without food and football games especially that's like six hours of my day <laughs> I'm exaggerating but it really is so I make sure that I'm always eating um, beforehand the next question is how there goes my little brain how has being a dazzler changed you okay so I feel like it's definitely maybe more confident as, as like, I've always been a pretty confident dancer, but it's just more confident for the, in the school at least. Um, I've also gotten a lot more positive because 
all the community events we do and the games we do, you can just see like, you feel like the positive energy. The energy reciprocated between the audience and you, it's just, I love that feeling and it's a very positive feeling and I do feel a lot more positive and like you're helping out with the world when you do like community events and stuff like that. So it's definitely a, a positive feeling. Question. What are some things to know before trying out for a dance team? Okay, so the first thing is it's very time consuming. If you're not good with time management, you're definitely gonna either get better at it or it's a time management, like getting your homework done, going to the games. Cause like I said, sometimes those games are really, really long. You gotta make sure your homework is done prior to that or you have enough time after to get it done. So the next thing to know before trying out is remember that dance is an outlet. Like, I mean, obviously it's hard work, but when you're at your practice and stuff like that, it's finally some time to think about something other than school and class and stop being so worried about like grades. And it's like, yes, you can worry about your classes right after practice, but in the meantime, like it's kind of just a time to like, you know, be a little, take a little tiny break, take a little breather. It is a commitment. I'm actually gonna, I have answers put down for some of them. I'm gonna read this answer. It is a commitment. Your team is there for you. So you have to be there for your team. If, if that's being on time to practice or making sure you know your dances or helping out with other people to know their dances, it's what you gotta do. I mean, you're not selling your soul, you just have to show that you care and put forth a genuine effort. So, I think that's a pretty good answer for things to remember. It is a very big commitment and you do wanna always put your hardest effort there. Were you scared to try out? Very, yes, very scared to try out. Every year I try out for something, even if I've been on the team for three years or zero years, I'm nervous. Um, you just never know what people are thinking or what they're looking for, which makes me super nervous. And this is especially hard for me, like college dance team, because first of all, college is always like a higher level. And even if it's not, it's still like a higher mentality and it's a lot more work and effort. Um, also in middle school and high school, I followed in my sister's track, so I had a good, I had a great idea of what they were looking for. I always knew like what to do and how to get, how to get to like to be on the team, like what things, I, what skills I needed to have and all that stuff. And also like I knew the coaches a lot because my sister was on the team. So like I would talk to them, they would help me out. Like not that they would put me on the team automatically, but it was definitely like my sister's there to help me out, get through it. So for college, it's a clean slate. They don't know me, they don't know my sister. It was a chance to set my own name so I kind of had to set it at a high standard and and I'm not gonna lie, I was also very nervous because of my skin color and because of my size. Um, I wasn't sure if I would be expected to have straight hair or if I would be too tall or too dark. And at Buffalo, that is definitely not the case. They're not discriminative in any type of way. And they love everyone for their own uniqueness and their own set of skills, their own personality. Everybody likes, to, they like everyone for themselves. But in the real world, sometimes they might look at you and be like, no, because they want a certain look or like even like a rock height, you gotta be a certain height, like things like that. So I was definitely nervous because I've been introduced into the whole judgmental thing very early. So kind of like, I was like first thought like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it. So it wasn't even like the dancing set. I was more of like a mental thing. I was like, I'm not gonna make it. So, so yeah, that was, that was definitely something. But the last question is, what are some tips you have to trying out on any dance team? I can't speak for college dance teams because I'm only an incoming sophomore, but for high school dance teams, I've watched and helped try out. I'll tell you guys some tips for that. Never go in thinking you're better than anyone else. Um, you never know, what, like I said, you never know what people are looking for, so you wanna always put your best foot forward, even if it doesn't seem like it's gonna be hard. Try your hardest, because if you're like sitting out during stretches or you're like not doing everything 100%, that shows character. And a lot of captains and coaches and stuff like that do not want people who don't work hard on the dance team. Like, they much rather see you work really, really hard. Everyone can improve. And a little bit on the opposite of that, don't go in thinking, oh my God, I suck. Like, because if you have such a bad mindset, then you're not gonna show confidence. Like if you can't do something, always try your hardest. Like let's say I can't do a split. I'm gonna go as far down as that split as I can and lift my arms so that I go even further. Like you always wanna try your hardest. And even if you don't think you'll make it, miracles happen, try. <laughs> you gotta go for it. You won't, what is it? You miss 100% of the chances you don't take opportunities you don't I think that's the um, saying something like that but it's, it's true you really do you should always just go for it I mean obviously prepare yourself 100% beforehand but you should always go for it like put your best foot forward you know
oh, it's not always about the tricks. So yes, it's about the tricks because not all the time, but for certain dance teams, it's definitely like, if you need to have a double, you need to have a double. If you need to have a toe touch, you need to have a toe touch. So obviously those things are important, but there's other factors that go into making a team like energy and spirit and personality, which is a lot, always like at least a few points, even when I was helping out at high school, it's always worth some type of points. Like if you're smiling and have energy, so if you lose those points, it could be the same points that someone lost for not having the right split. So it's just like, those points are like important to your faces, your personality, great energy and great like smileys. And also be very sharp on the simple movements. Like if you're just doing a high V or low V, make sure your arms are as sharp as you possibly can or as straight as you possibly can. If you're doing a kick, make sure that kick is straight leg, point foot. Like. It's not always about the tricks, but whatever is simple to you, whatever may not be the hardest, make sure you're putting 100% effort into that as well, which kind of goes with the first one. Always put effort, it builds character. Um, next is practice. Practice, practice, practice. I know some people, a lot of teams have clinics beforehand, and my, my old coach used to always say it where she saw some people at the clinics and she'd be like, eh. And then at the tryouts, they would just like, the, overnight they'd practice and they'd be like amazing at tryouts and make the team. So it's like, that happens. like. If you practice and work your butt off and you keep practicing that choreography, keep practicing, keep practicing, and then you get it, it's like, you get it. So, I mean, obviously, especially with the Dazzlers, there's time restraints into learning choreography, but even I practice, like, practice every single day after practice because if I don't understand something, I don't want to, like, mess anyone else up or, like, not understand what I'm doing in a game. So I will literally practice, like, all day, every day. <laughs> I'll practice so many times, like... <laughs> People, I'm just laughing because literally I, I used to be in the kitchen at my dorm in my dorm and I would literally be dancing in the kitchen or like dancing on the sky bridge or dancing I would always be practicing somewhere I would just be like what is she doing and I'm literally like get this you got the arms but you got the arms like I would just be overdoing it <laughs> yeah I do practice a lot I get ner I get nervous I'm not gonna lie I never want to like mess up um, the next thing I was gonna say is it's always okay if you don't make the team try again the next year try again the year after that keep trying and if you never make the team or never ever get to get to the team standards it builds a lot of character in yourself because you know that you kept trying and you never let it discourage you i think it's great I, i'm happy that i did keep trying like it's it's the character that it builds it's not always about what you earn and stuff like that it's about the process and how you get there okay so a little bit of a disclaimer is that I was only a freshman on the dance team, so I do not have the utmost of information to give you guys. It's very opinion-based questions and what I think would be best and all the things based on my opinion. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And me and my sister are going to be starting a YouTube channel, so subscribe to that too as well. And I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.